Hello guys and welcome back to the campaign series. We uh, finished Vinland Saga with great success last time, so Hastings is coming up. And yeah, we'll just jump straight in. Mercenaries and Norman knights look dubiously at the ships that wobble in the black, fog-choked sea. What man is this Duke William to put so many horses on leaky transports? William ignores their questioning glances and stares across the channel in the direction of England. Edward the Confessor is dead, and now three men claim rulership of England. Harold the Saxon sits on the English throne and even now hastens to fortify his shores against two invasions. Harold Hadrada, King of Denmark and Norway, sends Vikings from the north as William invades from the south. The outcome of this three-way conflict is as murky as the fog that shrouds the English Channel. Harold the Saxon's Huskarls are professional soldiers, not mercenaries. William's only chance of defeating them is to use heavy cavalry, but to do so, he must first get all of these horses onto these unreliable boats. The future of England is about to be decided. Oi! Interesting. So, Willem the Conqueror must survive. Hi. Conquer England by destroying the castle of Harold the Saxon, Orange. Alright. Then we're gonna be fighting against the King of Norway. While you prepare your army to invade England, be watchful of this of Saxon attacks into Normandy. The Isle of Wight along England's southern shore is the safe staging ground for your invasion. The Normans have a large town established in France. Their lands should be free of enemy marauders, but Harold's raiders could attack at any moment. The Saxon navy will try to repel any Norman transports or warships that threaten Harold's army. You can try to defeat the Saxons' navy by shipyards to the north and south before laying siege to Harold the Saxons' castles near London. The Vikings under Harald Hardrade, Harald Hårdfagre, are a wild card. They are at war with Harald the Saxon, but can they be trusted? We shall see. The Saxons have the British Isles well fortified. We'll need to transport our knights across the channel and use them to defend our builders. Norman castles should hold back the Saxon tide both here and on... What? Both here and what? Uh, Norman castles should hold back the Saxon tide both here and on Britain, okay. So... Okay, so from the poll regarding the speeds, most of you said that... Well, a huge majority said you prefer normal speed. But you also said that during uh, like the slower periods of the game, fast speed is fine. At least that's what I'm getting at, so we're going to be doing that from now on. We'll, uh, we'll keep it on uh, normal during most of the game, but during these periods where we have to just make economy and stuff, we'll, uh, we'll be using a uh, fast speed. Oh, what's this? Arrows Raiders. Okay, so we're in Castle Age. I assume we're not limited to Castle Age. We'll find out. Harold the Saxon has taken to the seas. Yeah, I can we go to him. We can't let his navy control the English Channel, or we'll never succeed in our invasion. So apparently, we'll have to uh, take water control. Oh, there are some huskies. William of Normandy, you and I have no quarrel. <laughs> that it's accent. It's Harold the Saxon who's the enemy of us both. If you declare me an ally, I'll do likewise with thee. <laughs> what the hell is this accent? You declare me an ally? Oh, okay, let's make Harold our ally. Oh! Yes! I'm, I'm friends with my countrymen. Feels good. But seriously, what the hell is that accent? <laughs> don't speak, don't speak like that. Okay, so Harold's raiders are all around the place. I wanna debate these guys into the castle. Come on, you're free to come. Come in. Enjoy your stay. There we go. Let's uh, 
Um, we can slow it down a little bit now, I guess. I had it on fast speed for now. But let's, um, let's have a look. So, uh, Harold is l landing, and apparently he's gonna raid. Let's, uh, let's just sacrifice this light guy running and see what's up. Actually, I should make... Oh, we actually have quite a big force. Ooh. Saxon Navy hit Imperial. Oh, what? Oh, bombard towers. I should make another town center. I'm not sure why I haven't made another town center yet. Come, forget how to fight this far, Hitler. Viking scum, my ass. <sighs> well, it's all good. Let's um. Okay, so we yellow's down here. We just need to gather. I think like a big army of scorpions. What? The Saxons smashed my forces oh. at Stamford Bridge. My Vikings Harold. keep fighting. <gasps> But you will have to come here and transport them across yourself. He's so OP. Look at that. Five range and OP. Oh shit. OP stats. Well, I did say that about Charles as well, as well. but it's different now, guys. Trust me. Harold is my own. Well, apparently so was Eric. But you, you get what I mean. He's OP. I'm just gonna go and. I mean, if we bring those guys over. Look at this. It's beautiful. If we bring these guys over, then. Uh, then uh, we. I mean, it should be. Should be easy enough to take out this. We can, I think we can just abuse. Like, uh, Harold's micro. Not Harold's micro, my micro. <laughs> well, his. Um, Oops, let's send these guys in first. Yes, he is so fast as well. Look at him. So you can just hit and run like every infantry unit. This is what I'm thinking. Only question is, is it safe really to uh, transport? Oh! Well, they only have infantry. Oh, damn houses. Wait, are we limited to 50 population? Oh, wait, oh. We got all of these guys taking a population space. That's unfortunate. Actually, that is... Oh, wait, we're trapped. Well, let's hope he's fine. <laughs> Over there. Okay, we're not limited, thank god. We'll, uh... I wanna debate these to the water. We'll, um... None of them are hitting any arrow. God damn it. I want to make a lot of uh, uh, throwing axemen because they usually do well against against infantry. I want to find out as well what population we're limited to. Here. And he's a little bit off. He should <laughs> probably not be on that side. Why do I do this? As long as they don't come for him, I mean, he should be fine. And you should be able to outrun them anyway, right? Hope so, at least. No worries, we got this. Everything's under control. 70 pop. We get like... 20. We'll fill the rest of the population with throwing axemen. Wait, we can just use him to debate. Hopefully he'll never, he'll never die. Just a few at a time, a few at a time. Pikeman first. I said a few at a time, guys. Oh, I don't like this. Well, we should be able to outmaneuver them. Ah! Uh. Don't think they'll have. Uh, motor holes. I think we can go and sit under the under the tower here. This 
guys have no accuracy. You guys start hitting something, please? Thank you. He actually, he actually takes a lot of that. He only has 250 HP. I, I think I overestimate the hero heroes sometimes. But it happens. Gonna send a villain now to make a dock. One tower gone. I don't know what uh, what they have up here. Shouldn't be too much. And I'm cleaning up most of this. All good, all good. Oh, 80 pop. Let's make more wheels if we have that much population space. Come on. There we go. It's taking forever to take out these. We'll fight now. Should be fine. Let's go have a look up here. Got cavalry. Oh, set fire. I would not want to lose. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we can't lose Harold. Just, just in case, you know. Okay. Seems like we're okay for now. Let's. Is there any resources outside we can take? So I'll go there and make a TC just because there's gold. <coughs> Seems like we've explored most of these parts now. We'll uh, go over here, start bringing them over. Should probably do, the, do that upgrade so it's more efficient. 10 at a time instead of 5. Okay, I, I reckon we'll just wait for the Vikings to come over now, so I think we'll turn on fast speed again. We'll put these guys. Oh, what? Oh, nice. Thank you. Go to Imperial Age then. Soon. Just land them here. Seems. To be the safer shot. Are we limited 100 pop? Yeah, we have 100 pop limit. Okay. It's good to know. There we go. First Vikings are over. They don't get affected by uh, these upgrades, unfortunately. But it's all good. I'm just happy I'm getting to play with Berserks and Vikings. Not every day. Okay, we'll save for Imperial Age now. And yeah, take it from there. Not sure how much water we'll have to invest into. They have... Uh, I mean, we have these six longboats, but that's not going to be enough to win water if they actually have a fleet. Red apparently has a Saxon navy. Ah, not impressed. Oh, I just got war really. Well, still not impressed. So let's uh, let's use this guy to scout, and we'll send these guys. And once these guys are all grouped up, we'll uh, start attacking. Let's go Imperial Age. Any upgrades we should do? How many farmers do we have? Well, oh, actually, we don't have too many bills. We can make some more. Where are we getting attacked? Over here. Fast fires. Hey. That might be an issue. I, I mean, we have to cross the water. It's obvious. This island will remain Saxon. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to make water for sure. Where is Harold? Come on, man. 
His name is actually Harald Horfagre on Norwegian. Harald Hard Hard rather. English version. Okay, here they go. I think I'll just make. But let's let's uh, okay. So I'm gonna bring. You stay there. You guys stay here. I'm gonna bring use Harold now to see. Turn down the speed again, and we'll check if we can abuse Harold the way I imagined or envisioned. First, let's see how long he would take. Take how long he would take. How long would take for him to take the tower? Pretty quick. Let's bring these guys as well. Okay, now we go. Here we go. Let's see. I mean, with the speed, we could hit and run like every unit, but it would take a long time, naturally. But we could just do like this forever. Hit and run. Okay, he's getting quite low. I don't want to lose him. Crawls. All right, where are you going now? I'm gonna go down here, take out Harold's Raiders. Should probably keep an eye on him as well. I'm gonna make a barrack. I think I don't have the speed of infantry speed upgrade. Which name I can't remember right now. Oh wait, can we? Oh wait, that doesn't go anywhere except to our island. Never mind. Squires is the name of the upgrade. Let's do elite. Since we actually have quite a few strong X-Men. By that I mean nine. Okay, not that many. Probably want to keep William near as well. Be on the safe side. Oh, I actually have that. Uh, yeah, so we'll just do keep doing upgrades. I think we'll have to switch to wood soon because we're gonna have to make water more. More water. We don't get fast. Wait, maybe we do it. I should know, I've played this game for a long time. Let's just check. Oh, we do get fast fires. Nice! Okay, there's extra gold there, we know that now. Doesn't seem like we can cross there, not sure what's down here. We're losing this dock. We'll just remake docks. It's over chopped here, we'll go here and make new docks. Let's take out Harold's Raiders first. Four hundred food. Come on, four hundred food. Plenty more food. Just, just uh, water units. No, th oh shit! It's not part of the plan. Okay, let's switch focus. That's good. Oh, never mind. Please take him out. Damn it! All right, still all good, all good. Still like this force we got here, especially this guy, Harold. Uh, wait, what did they say about it? Like they, there was talks about we need heavy in, uh, cavalry to win. We have to bring like land horses or whatever they said in the intro, prologue. Let's see what that's all about. 
I'll just prepare upgrades for that, just in case. Come on closer, stop being such a wuss. Only one. Stop running, man! Damn it. I uh, should probably do a few more farmers. To be honest. Oh! Let's get these fire ships out on the field. ASAP. Be a little bit careful with him, but he can he can fight a little bit. He's strong. Taking out a few ships. Okay, now we need more water. Uh, water, wood. Oh. Go back. I'm probably gonna do a market as well, just so we can trade a little bit. Let's do a stable as well. I have a feeling we're gonna have to end up going in Kal uh, Paladin in the long run. So I want to do like Cavalier upgrade already. as well land over here this seems like a nice place to land a lot of resources here i want to check out this as well kind of I'm, I'm gonna be very careful i'm not gonna land uh william right now until i know that water is safe see i'm, I'm taking care of my heroes treat them nice I'm not sure why yellow is still in the game. Maybe let's have a look up here. Another outpost. Land Harold down here just to scout this tiny area. All my instincts tell me to make fish and ships to take this fish. We don't need that. Uh, I guess this just goes down here. wonder if there is anything there. And I don't think yellow has anything left. I'm not sure why yellow is still in the game. Oh, maybe they're down here. Okay, there's stone at least. I got this outpost. Okay, so just two stone piles, nothing else in particular. I might just send this guy and keep landing Harold to scout, since he's so quick. Let's land this now though. Start the siege on the tower. Harold will be our explorer, like a true viking. Oh. We get more throwing action here, that would be nice. Counter that army really nicely. Yeah, we don't have too much population. As long as we're not use losing really inefficiently units here. I won't really make units for now. I'll keep the I'll keep the population space open in case we need more of a certain type. Go scouting Harold. Oh, what's this? Landing. Let's try and stop that. I don't know exactly what they're planning to land here, but 
still want to stop it. Two paladin. Right, so the whole goal of this scenario was to destroy the Saxon castle, right? Just double check. Yes. And also having this guy. I mean, we could. Oh, I want to bring him to battle. It's more exciting if the heroes actually take part and aren't cowards just sitting in the back. Like for every scenario, we could hide the hero in the castle or whatever just to keep him safe, but. Where's the fun in that when you can use them for their strengths? So we should bring Vils as well. So let's not have them in there while we look away. Still bring a lot of husk calls. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Owning this infantry army. Yup. Correct. Uh, are they just constantly spamming you? So what? See, if we had William inside this transport here, see, I'm taking care of my heroes. It's new, right? I don't know what happened to the. I don't know if we destroyed the transport ship or not. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's go for the town center now. No, the town center, man. Bring Harold in on the party. See? If William was here, he would be dead. Let's get rid of all the wheels. Oh, shit! They did land. Uh... Yeah, we'll settle with this. Wait, was that enemy ship? A little bit scared. Come down off those horses and see how Huskars fight man to man. What? See how Huskars fight man to man, you say? Well, we've been fighting all your Huskars for a long time already. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, we don't get chemistry? Or did I upgrade chemistry? No, we don't get chemistry. So you won't be able to make bombard cannons. A little bit of a shame. Okay, let's... Uh, move on. Not too concerned about, concerned about those. Should I, I mean, I think we can wait, just do all the upgrades, go to Imp, do the upgrades, and then, oh. Then you would have Harold and all the Berserk spawn in with Imperial Age upgrades, if I'm not mistaken. Let's fight. Just gotta keep an eye on William and Harold, if they don't die. Oh, they were actually focusing the villagers. Made it a really efficient fight for us. Oh, they're actually coming again. Quite the force. Let's uh, make some stables over here, shall we? Oh! Bard cannon towers. That's why you want ramps. I kind of wait. Berserks, they're regenerating, right? Yeah. Nice. So OP, taking only one damage from these bar towers. Well, it's not OP. So strong, that's what I tried to say. No 
Oh, Yun is around, so these guys are just gonna wreck. Let's give William a couple of friends on horseback. Not sure where their castles are. Oh, the castle is. I assume it's as far down in the corner as possible. We'll see. They have a quite a fortress here. Oh! My gun is being raided. Yeah, that's a little annoying. Need a market. Might have to. Uh, yeah, let's move down here. Oh, Harold is low on HP. Ooh. Danger. Okay, let's go. We have no woodcutters at all now, do we? Send these paladin down to the left to scout. I want to see what's. Oh, is that the, that's the castle then? I guess. I want to scout this area though. It seems still a big area that's undiscovered. Uh, Bombard towers. This seem this area seems like you can't cross there at all. I feel like we're approaching the end here. I don't think they have much more to offer. This castle and then we should win the mission, I think. Oh wait, what's down here? Oh, there might be another. Th okay, we probably won't win the mission by taking out this. Probably be something to do down here. Almost willing to guarantee it. Yeah, there has to be something down here. Probably follow up mission after we take out this orange castle. Oh, he has 9,000 HP. That's been given a boost. Well, only thing to worry about is William, that he doesn't die. Also would like to keep Harold alive, just so I can have a positive record with heroes for once. Two out of two alive. Now that would be something, right? Looking promising. Uphill as well, so it takes extra long to take it down. All hail William the Conqueror, King of England and Normandy. Hail! So, are we gonna have to do anything about red? What? I was so sure we'd have to do something about red over here. Like, take out this castle, for example, as well. There's a monastery here as well, for some reason. This is probably why yellow was still in the game. This random archer standing over here. I like that we got the Viking army and Harald. I really like that. Such a strong hero. Yeah, I was surprised. I thought after this we would have to go and do something here with red. That was nice. That was nice. Managed to keep two out of two alive of heroes. That's pretty new. You gotta appreciate that. Let's just make sure we aren't missing anything. We could have landed here as well. I guess they have. Uh, you could land all over the place. Nice. All right, we've conquered England. Let's uh, hear what they say. Harold the Saxon's Huskarls looked certain to defend the crown for him as they fought the Vikings to a bloody stalemate at Stamford Bridge. 
Chelsea. Despite his losses, what the hell? Harold marched his exhausted troops south to meet William the Conqueror near Hastings. William's archers and pikemen were no match for Harold the Saxon's veteran huskars. Harold even broke the charge of William's knights. William himself went down in the fray, and as rumors of his death spread, the Normans turned to flee. But William was not dead, and he rallied his troops by throwing aside his helmet so they could see his clean-shaven face and know he was alive. William and his armored knights rode down the Huskarls, breaking the Saxon force, and continued their ride all the way to London. William was crowned king on Christmas Day. Because his reign eventually ushered England into a position of unprecedented world leadership, the year 1066 became established as the most famous date in English history. Nice. Pause the screen quickly if you want to see any of these stats. I don't think these stats usually have anything interesting in them, to be honest. I don't think many of you are doing that, but, you know, still, just in case. Alright, so that was Hastings. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Coming up will be uh, Man Manzigert. Manzigert, I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Yeah, just gonna have to deal with that. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and hopefully I'll see you next time for Man Secret.